Okay, we can see obtain the ratio for sine 45 degree. It simply means that we can add up two angles to give 105. Okay, let us now have the angle now. We simply uh, have 60 degree plus 45 degree. Okay, when you add up these two angles together, we have 105. Just use the calculator and do that. 60 plus 45, you have 105. Okay, we can apply an identity here. Yeah? Simply means sine 60 degree cos 45 degree. For sine, this very addition sine remain the same for sine. If here was minus, it means here we still remain minus for sine. Okay? But for cos, this addition here become minus, that will cos. If there is an addition here become minus, if there is minus here become an addition. Okay, since we are doing this sign, this addition will remain addition here. Therefore, now I will have the next one. Here I will have this sign first. Maybe the next thing I will have now, now will cos 60 degree. I will have there cos 60 degree. The next one I will follow, I will have there. Okay, the next one I will follow will have this sign. Now we sign 45 degree. Okay, now we cannot use the ratio now. We cannot use the ratio for sign 60 degree. You simply have. We take over 2 and for cos 45 degree we have 1 over 2 and for cos 60 degree we have 1 over 2 1 over 2 okay 1 over 2 while for sine 45 degree it has the same ratio with cos 45 degree like for this one therefore we still have 1 over 2 1 over 2 now what can I do now Looking at the very fractions, we have here, yeah, there is no salt at the denominator, we have salt here. Therefore, I need to rationalize the very one. I will leave this very one, this one, and repeat here, that is 3 over 2. Okay? While for this one, I will rationalize, I will have 2 over 2. Okay? Now, let us look at the next one. This one, there is no salt at the denominator, I will have 1 over 2. While for this one, I have the salt, I will have to rationalize, I will have 2. Over two. Okay, now we cannot go now. We cannot go now. It simply means for this one, I have a six. I have a six. That is three times two over six. This one is four. Okay. For this one, I have a two over four. Now, what can we do now? What can we do? It means that we need to take the LCM of the denominators since we have two or more fraction and there is an addition sign. Okay. I have to now take the LCM. The LC of 4 and 4, I will have 4. Okay? Therefore, I will now say, I will now say, 4 shape 4 is 1 times root 6, I will have root 6. 4 shape 4 is 1 times root 2, I will have root 2. Okay, we can still move on. Yes, we can still move on. For this one, if I leave it at this very position, I will say 1 over 4, I will now have the 1 of root 6. And um, two inside the brackets. I'll have it inside the bracket. Either I leave it like this or I leave it like this. It means the same thing. Okay, it means that for sine 105 degree, this one is simply the ratio. This one is simply the ratio. Okay, if you get the if you get the uh if you get your calculator and and, and uh, obtain the sine the one of sine 105 degree, okay. Put your value down. Like you say, get the, the one of sine 105 degree, put your value down, and come for this very one. Alright? Fill you that same calculator. Uh, have root 6 plus root 2 with your calculator and divide by 4. You will take the same thing with this sine 105 degree. Thank you very much for staying with me on the platform, DB Jumbo Online Mathematics. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mathematics Science, we got to do that. All the best.